Good day, folks. It's DIY Guy123 here bringing you another do it yourself video. Today we've got a 2002 Buick LeSaver, and it's an overall pretty good shape, the car is, but I decided I was going to change the subframe bushings. It comes with a kit and a new bolt, and the subframe place where the bushings touch it rusted out. And not only was it sort of rusted and worn, um, the hole is too big that the bolt and the bushings are supposed to go through. Like, it's all beat out of there and corroded, and it's, uh, it's a real, really big hole compared to what should be there. What are we gonna do? We gotta reinforce that, and it just so happens that the old cup from the top is the exact diameter of the, the outer subframe radius. And if you look, look how nicely that fits up in there. Okay, so now that we know that this is a perfect fit, and it's gonna be a really nice surface to weld around, we've gotta cut it so that the center part of this bushing that I'm touching now will go through, but this part of the bushing, the outer part, won't go through. So, I happen to have a plasma cutter handy. Not everybody has one of those. Totally okay, you can do this with an angle grinder if you're really careful and you have a small grinding disc, um, or if you had a rotating grinding stone, uh, you could do it that way as well. It's gonna take a while. Uh, but anyway, there are lots of ways to cut this out. What do we got here? Miller Spectrum 875 plasma cutter. That on 35 amps. <laughs> I cleaned up all the edges around here with a grinder. This now fits in there quite snugly, not too much clearance, and it won't rotate. And that's the thing, you don't want this bushing to be able to spin. And it's not a circle, it's got flat edges. And so I think that's gonna work out beautifully. And you also wanna grind off all the burrs from your cutting and make sure that you have good contact so that your, um, you know, your bushing doesn't prematurely wear against even corrosion and stuff like that. So that's what I've got. Now I'm gonna shove them up into place. So here we've got our new, uh, new backing plate up there. It's not welded on, but I've just got it clamped in place with these vice grips. You can see it mates nicely with this surface right here. So I'm going to weld along there and then I'll weld it along there. A little difficult to weld upside down, but I'll get it done. You can see it's all nicely tucked in there and uh, the bushings fit really well. I was quite careful with the alignment of that new cup I put in there to make sure it was centered in the hole I matched it up with the other side so yeah that's how we're looking there I got those all tucked up in place and then torqued them to 66 foot pounds then I let them sit for a few minutes and then retorqued them to just make sure that I hadn't missed anything and it's all good so I can't remember if I showed this before I started but I used to be able to take this part of the subframe and move it up and down and it's on there rock solid now can't move it anywhere this is going to make the car handle much better it's going to resolve some clunking going to make it so that you could actually do an alignment and extend the life of the vehicle so if you like my videos and you like the way i describe things why don't you subscribe and you'll see what else i'm doing good luck with your do-it-yourself projects the